Hi everybody, my name is Miss Brenner and I am going to be your ninth grade language arts instructor for the 2020-2021 school year. I hope you all are doing well and are staying happy and healthy. And once again, I want to say welcome and I hope that you are enjoying yourselves. So, I want to start off by telling you guys a little bit about myself, much like you will be doing in your welcome videos and introductions for this course. Uh, how about two truths and a lie? We're going to start with this. One, I won the Pennsylvania State Spelling Bee in 2008. Two, I have a metal rod built into my spine. Or three, I used to drive forklift for a ceiling tile factory. So those are my two truths and a lie. You're going to have to check back with me later to figure out which one is the lie in this set. Uh, you will be doing this in your own introduction video shortly in the course. So just keep that in mind. A little bit more about myself is that I graduated from Millersville University, so I am a marauder. I also recently, over the past three years, have been working on fixing up my own house in Lidditz, Pennsylvania. And so it's been a huge undertaking. I didn't find any dead bodies hidden under my house, so I was super happy about that. But I did have to tear up a lot of carpet, patch a lot of walls, fix a lot of ceilings, and a lot of leaky areas. But everything's good now, and I'm pretty proud of it. A little bit else is that uh, these are my parents, my mom and my dad. So just so you have an idea of where I come from. And also, we have three fur babies or cats that we love very much that live with my parents. So I don't get to see them all the time, but when I do, they are the light of my life. And it's always good to see them, Stewie, Leonard, and Bert. So a little bit more about this course now that you have an idea as far as who I am and a little bit about uh, my friends, family, and things that I do. Uh, let's talk a little bit about this course. So, we're going to be reading Romeo and Juliet. We'll also cover To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee. There will be a lot of short stories, poems, articles, and speeches that we'll cover in ninth grade English, as far as some literary-based films and media. So as far as assignments and grading, class materials and assignments will be linked and available on Schoology. So these videos, and all the resources are going to be available there to try and minimize uh, the amount of printing and textbooks that you have to carry around. A final exam will be administered at the end of the course. It's worth 15% of the final grade. So just so you are aware, uh, that final exam will be after two semesters. So late work is eligible for half credit up to five school days after the assigned due date. So all of the assignments will be linked and available on Schoology and you'll be able to view the grading process on Schoology and it'll also be linked through Home Access. So if you ever have any questions about grading, you are free to ask me about that information there. Uh, letter grades will be assigned in accordance with the MCHS grading policy, as I'm sure you are aware. And please feel free to email me. My email is linked on Schoology. It is linked in our syllabus, it's in this video, it's in every video that I do. So please feel free to email me with any questions either through Schoology or BrennerS at ManheimCentral.org. Either one will get you in touch with me. Make sure that you use your school email um, in order to document uh, who you are and that way I'm able to respond to you. If you don't use your school email and you use a personal email, I'm not going to be able to respond. Alrighty. So, I'm going to pause this video uh, through Edpuzzle. I'm going to ask that you list three expectations that you have for me as your instructor. So three things that you feel I need to know about you and your learning process and what makes you do best in your own academic success. Tell me a little bit about what works best for you um, and three expectations that you have as far as the learning environment and our classmates. Uh, maybe you personally really enjoy group projects, or maybe you really dislike them. But this is the time to tell me those things. So list three expectations that you have for me personally as your instructor, and three things that you have for the classroom environment. Alrighty. So whether you are taking this course in person four days a week here at school, whether you are doing it all online or whether you're doing a hybrid model, it is important to understand that classroom behavior, whether it be classroom online or classroom in person, uh, behavior is very important. And so when you see that I am documenting your behavior, 
please know that I'm documenting it uh, to best support you. So oftentimes I carry around a clipboard for attendance. Uh, if you see me on Zoom, that's what I'm doing. But some of the things that I might write down about behavior could include inappropriate language, which would be an issue. Not following directions, also a problem. HD stands for head down. OOS stands for out of seat. ET, excessive talking. P stands for phone. TM stands for throwing materials. WO stands for walking out, which means you left class without permission or you left Zoom without permission early or came in late. LTC stands for late to class, so if you don't show up on time or if you don't come to our Zoom session on time. Uh, U is unprepared, which means that you didn't bring your laptop or you didn't bring a charger and you needed it and you knew ahead of time that you would need that item. IUT stands for inappropriate use of technology, which means that you are watching Netflix during class rather than doing the assignment that you were supposed to be doing. And then A does not mean um, bad behavior. It just simply means you were absent. It means you weren't here and I need to document that. So these are all different items that go onto my tracking sheet on my clipboard. So if you see me at the front of the classroom, either on Zoom or in person, just know that that is what I am doing. And you do not want to have multiple behavior codes in one week. If you have three behavior codes, so let's say you're on your phone multiple times throughout the class period and you end up with three P's on this chart, you would then end up with a detention. Now, it could be on Zoom that you are repeatedly on your phone and I have told you multiple times that you cannot be on your phone during our class period or it could be in person. Either way, your phone should be put away and you should be aware that you do not want to get these behavior codes because then it has consequences. So just so we are all aware of that. Three codes in a week means a detention. Rules and expectations. Be on time, be prepared, and be a hardworking and respectful student. So later on in the syllabus, in the other video, I will talk a little bit more about uh, elements that we'll cover in this course and um, how netiquette works because we will all be working through an online Schoology basis. So just so you're aware of that, that will come later. All right, what do I do with graded assignments? So if there are any paper graded assignments, I will make sure to hold on to those for you. You will get it returned to you so you get to see it, but it also goes in a file folder in the front of the classroom. So if you ever need to see it later on, maybe uh, right before the end of the marking period, just to double check your grade, I hold on to those for you. But most of our grading will be filed away on Schoology and therefore uh, switched over to home access. When you come into our classroom, so these are some things that are a little bit different now. Um, obviously being respectful of the learning environment is still the same. Be on time, use an inside voice, walk, don't run, make sure you have your classroom materials. But this year we will be having two different um, time periods by which students navigate the hallways and move between classrooms. So you will need to line up outside of the classroom uh, spaced between each student. So make sure when you arrive on time to class that you are lined up outside of the classroom with space in between until I, your instructor, come out and tell you that it is clean and safe and sanitary for you to come into the classroom. If you are online, please be aware that it might take a couple moments for me to open up the Zoom uh, classroom and allow you in as the host, allow you into our Zoom classroom. So just be aware of that. You need to be on time. Don't show up 15 minutes late just because you think that I won't be there on time. Make sure that you are on time to class on Zoom or else you will get marked late. And if you don't show up, you will be marked absent. All right. So as far as Pledge of Allegiance and announcements, it may function a little bit differently than what we are accustomed to. Uh, you are still expected to stand respectfully for the Pledge of Allegiance. After the pledge, you can sit and listen to the announcements. But regardless of the uh, actions being performed during the Pledge of Allegiance and the announcements, you should not be talking. It should be silent. So with that in mind, Although the timing of the announcements may be different, please remember that we want to be able to hear all the information, so we are silent during that time. All right, 
Our daily checklist then is that you've picked up any materials, that you have your laptop and that you have your charger and you're prepared for class, that you've checked the agenda, which is this video that will be posted every week. It'll be an agenda video that goes over all the assignments for the entire week and then an update on Wednesday. Um, that you've silenced your cell phone. Whether you're on Zoom or if you are in class, please make sure that you silence your cell phone, um, that you're in your assigned seat, and that you are ready to learn and have a wonderful day. I know it's a lot of rules that we're going over right now. Last slide. Let's talk a little bit about fire exits. So, along with any kind of extreme weather or fire emergency or evacuation, we need to calmly wait for the teacher to gather needed evacuation materials. So I need to make sure that I have our attendance clipboard, that I have uh, the emergency backpack, any information that is necessary for evacuation. We are then going to leave class, the classroom in a single file line. You're going to take whatever door is uh, assigned to us out to the outside of the building and walk calmly and uh, wait for the teacher as you go towards the track field and wait for further instructions. If you have any questions about the fire drill, about classroom expectations, about our daily checklist, about how the agenda works, please make sure that you ask me. Uh, if you're in Zoom, you can send me a message in the chat. If we are in person, please raise your hand. You can send me an email. You can ask me after school or before school, but please feel free to contact me, okay? Alrighty guys, so that is everything that I wanted to cover in this welcome video. I am really excited to get to know each and every one of you and can't wait to see you either on Zoom, online, or in person. Have a wonderful day. Bye.